Hi, I'm Sean Clark. I'm standing in front of the Matthews House from Pet Cemetery 2. Welcome to Horror's Holograms. We begin our adventure in beautiful Sonoya, Georgia, the town that is now famous for being the home of the Walking Dead. Well, this particular home is the home of the Matthews. This is where Eddie Furlong and Anthony Edwards resided in the film. This is just walking distance from the town center. A beautiful piece of property, as you can see here. And in a moment, we're going to see Eddie leave the house, right here, and head down the street to meet his good friend, Drubare, who's waiting there to tell him a terrible tale of what happened to his dog, Zowie. Zowie got an owie, and it's a bad one. And here's the church, and if you see right there, there's the house in the background Eddie's riding from. And he comes up here, talks to Drew, and then they put together a plan to bring Zowie back. They now head down Main Street in Sonoya, Georgia. This is the center of the town. And right over there, beneath that water tower, is where the animal hospital resided. Just down the street, filled with many Walking Dead themed shops and stores, and constantly tours being given, is the heart of Sonoya, Georgia. So straight ahead, the Sonoya Bicycle Shop. This is the building that was used for the exterior of the animal hospital. Now, if you notice, there's a few new buildings next to it, which is obscuring that water tower, but you can still see it poking out from the top there. And just a few doors down, my good buddy Norman Reedus and Greg Nicotero have their restaurant, Nick and Norman's. Once again, Walking Dead consuming this town in every way, shape, and form. Now we are going to head inside the Animal Hospital, which I believe is a set. I went inside this place, looked around, and I do not believe they used this interior in the film. Now, there's a few reasons why. There are similar layouts but this building is way deeper. First off, there's no windows at the top of the building. As you can see in the film, there's windows lining the top just beneath the ceiling. But you can see those windows up there. Those do not exist in the real building. As you can see, I was looking on the side too to see if there was spots where those windows might have been, but there's no windows. And also, another thing, anytime you see someone come in the front door like this, you can never see outside. That's a sheer sign that they weren't on location, see? Also, just poking in, can't see what's out there. That's because it's a set. They didn't use the interior of the bicycle shop. This was all built somewhere else. If you look, this property is so deep. You know, some people have speculated this area is that area they're walking through now. Well, that's way back there. It would have been more about where I'm standing. And it just does not work. There's no pillars like that in the dead center. There was no pillars. It's, it is a different location. But it's still cool to be in there and imagine that maybe this is where the pet hospital was. But more than likely, it's just a bicycle shop. So I'm going to say case closed on that debate. Let's move on. Just two doors down from the Animal Hospital, or Sequoia Bike Shop, is the Queen's Jewels. 
Now this location was used for the front of the sheriff's office. This is where Clancy Brown would have worked. You can see the street here where the kids are trick-or-treating. It's a nice shot looking down the street as the kids enjoy Halloween. But it's right in this doorway, right here, where Clancy Brown is standing watching the kids trick-or-treat. Just two doors down from the bicycle shop and four doors down from Nick and Norman's. So right now we're in front of what was Ludwig Junior High School, but as you can see, this building has been completely remodeled. And today it is the Banquet Hall of Alvation. Don't know what that means, but let's go take a look over here. So right behind me here, kind of where this curb is, is where the bike rack would have been, where Eddie Furlong had his bike locked up right here. And right over there is where he was getting chased out. And then they go across the street. They go off in that direction. We're gonna go take a look at in a second. And then later in the film, they're right over there. So this, this whole corner here was used quite a bit. Let's take a closer look at it. So this was where the kids ride their bikes through. And I do believe they crossed this bridge over here. up in his pet medical van and the boys go across the street to meet him here at what used to be a gas station. The only thing you can really recognize is this where the gas pumps used to be has not changed. Take a close look at this right here. It's still there. And in the background you can see that car wash. house that used to be right here is gown. Is gown. But here's something you don't always see. An old phone booth. Minus the phone. Kids today will be like, what the hell is that? Yeah. Just a good old boy. Never doing no harm until he kills somebody. Now as Eddie Furlong is chasing after them, they blaze by the Creed residence. This is really the only reference to the first film where you see the Creed name on the mailbox as they're riding by. Other than that, you don't see this house anymore in the film. The next location we're going to go to, though, is the home of my favorite, Drew Buddy. And, of course, his evil stepfather, Clancy Brown, who absolutely steals the show. Now, if this house looks a little different, it's because they've added this whole porch that wraps around the house, as well as an addition to the right side of the house. It's kind of the right rear they've added an addition. But it's absolutely the same house. The back is a different story, though. The back of this house has been changed drastically. You know, something I was thinking about, you look at the kid that played Drew, he kind of looks like he could be the son of Melissa McCarthy. He looks a lot like Melissa McCarthy. I'm just throwing that out there. It just kind of popped in my head when I saw his expression there for a second. Anyway, the back of this house used quite a bit in the film where Clancy Brown had his rabbits. You see that whole porch there? Well, as you can see here, it's completely been redone. You don't even see those stairs anymore. Those concrete stairs right there. Take a close look at those. Because even though you can't see them, they're actually still there. I know you're saying, Sean, come on now. Where are they? Well, I'll show you in a second. Now, if you take a look at the backyard here, you'll see there's now a pool. It's totally been redone. So looking out from the back door here into the backyard, you'll see it's just a regular yard. 
heading into some trees, maybe forest kind of vibe. That stuff's still back there, they've just added a pool. That's pretty nice. Done some serious upgrades. But let's get back to those stairs, shall we? Because underneath this new porch, right here in this crawl space, is the stairs. They are still there. Check it out. How cool is that? Pretty damn cool, I think. And what's even cooler is that the homeowner let me check this out. She was very accommodating, and I appreciate it a great deal. A little preservation of movie history. And here is the bridge briefly seen in Pet Cemetery 2. The boys meet on this bridge. I know I'm the horror movie location guy, but that right there is the house from Fried Green Tomatoes. But uh, that's about all I got on that one. Couldn't tell you much more. We see the boys heading up this little dirt path, which is overgrown now, next to this highway. They come up this little path and they stop right about here and right next to the road and then Eddie pedals off in that direction so he's going off that way and then Drew Bada goes off the opposite direction now if you look down there you can see the bridge and then you will notice the bully heading down this right from over there and he passes him which apparently startles poor Drew Buddy so bad that he has one of the most epic fail falls of all time right in this spot right here it really seems to fluster him he, he can't get his footing no matter how hard he tries so they do a little movie magic here so the boys come from this direction Eddie pedals off in this direction and then you see the bully head from this way going after him but then when it cuts to him coming up behind him it's actually at the top of this hill up here from up here is where the bully is following him. so they're coming back from the direction that he just left movie magic from up there now one of the things you'll notice the sign is gone but there's a yellow triangle sign you see him pass it in both directions actually excuse me I found said sign it's right here <laughs> I was like well that sign's gone well actually no it isn't here it is what you know Screen used, Pet Cemetery 2 sign. Let's take a look at it. There's the sign that they pass. And he grabs his handlebar and pushes him off the road right here. This is pretty badass. It looks exactly like it did in the movie. So poor Eddie goes tumbling down here. Right down here is where the fight would have taken place. And Eddie goes running off in that direction. And Clancy beats his ass right around here. It was pretty much up against this ridge, I believe. Takes him out with the back of the motorcycle. It's pretty cool. I gotta say, I'm pretty stoked to be at this location. 
You would have never thought to have found this, but here it is. Still here. It's great. This kind of shit makes these trips worth taking, you know, because you want to find these little gems. Unfortunately, this one's still here. Right off of Highway 74. Just outside Sonoya, not far from the other locations. The Creed House and the Matthews House and the church and everything. And the animal hospital just inside town. Could this be the very path they took to the pet cemetery? It could be. I mean, this is the path the crew would have had to have taken to film. So they might have said, hey, this is kind of a nice little path. Let's, uh, let's shoot here. I don't know. You know, thinking about that song, I don't want to be buried in a pet cemetery. Eh, I don't know. I mean, if you're buried in a regular cemetery, you're just, you're done. At least if you're buried in a pet cemetery, you can come back and have some fun, Clancy Brown style. He was enjoying himself. He was eating mashed potatoes. I like mashed potatoes. It's like a buzzard or something. I think it's humongous. He's just scoping me out like, bro, get lost and die out here and I will feed on you later. This is a hell of a walk. I'm not even there yet. I'm still going. But this is an amazing location. The scope of this is nuts. So here we are at the final location of our tour, the burial grounds from Pet Cemetery 2. Everything kind of looks the same, but I'm gonna do some shots, take you around, show you a little bit of this incredible location and uh, see if we recognize anything. A lot of the stuff looks like you know what does it say slow to anger be human no be humble slow to anger be humble that's cool yeah this is I mean, this is definitely the spot. It's definitely here. The only way you can really tell is that aerial shot. And I did do a Google Earth on it, and this is the right area. It's just they moved all that stuff around for the film. That's probably what these piles are from where they had laid out the patterns of the rocks. They probably had to pile them back up afterwards. I wouldn't doubt that at all. Notice how there's just piles in certain areas right around here. See? I bet you these piles are left over from production. Having to kind of put everything back. Uh, can't necessarily put everything back. That's a near impossible, but at least get things somewhat sorted as they before and not some crazy pattern that might freak people out. And I am really lucky to have had good weather. It's been nice and sunny, but not too hot, not too humid. And today is nice and overcast and probably like, you know, 70 degrees. It's nice. I'm a happy camper.
It's like endless. An endless sea of rock. Well, that's going to do it for our episode today. I hope you enjoyed the locations of Pet Cemetery 2. Not my favorite film. Kind of cheese at times, but worthy. Worthy of a location vid, I think. And there's some good stuff in there. Clancy Brown. Clancy kills it. So anyway, till the next episode, stay safe. Like, subscribe, thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next adventure. So right now we're at Ludlow Junior High School from the film Pet Cemetery 2, and as you can see, it's the Banquet Hall of Aviation. Of that, uh, uh, Alvation. That's better, let's try that again.